Today we're taking a look at the LG Classic Flip, a phone that I wish was unlocked for more carriers. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Again, we're taking a look at the LG Classic Flip. I really wish this device was available widespread, just unlocked for everyone to use. It is quite snappy, very easy to use, and I have not had any issues. The cost of this device is also a very attractive point. It's only about $30, but you can only get it on Straight Talk Wireless or track phone wireless. These are NVNOs and they borrow the main networks from the giants like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. So if you plan to switch your plan and get this device, I think it will be a very good alternative. The reason why is because it nails the basics and it has a very good ergonomic package. So I think the device, it's very good at what it does. It does a lot of things, by the way, even some things that I was not expecting it to do because it has a community of developers behind it. I'll get to that in just a second. But essentially, when it comes to calls, text messages, all of the basics, it does it very well. You receive group uh, pictures, you receive links, you receive anything that you need to receive. And on top of that, calls, it has three-way calling, it has all the basics, Vo LTE. It has, again, all of the necessary things to be a basic phone. But it doesn't just shine in those categories. It also shines in extra categories. It has extra tools like calendar, it has a stopwatch, it has a voice recorder, voice commands, email, it has a timer if you need it, or stopwatch. And you may not be using email a lot in this device because of the form factor, but it works reliably well. Again, it's a very joy to use the device because it's very snappy, it's quick, the browser is quite fast so you can get to you know the different pages the scrolling so overall i really really like this device and i'm really bummed out that you can only use it on track phone or straight talk wireless unless you wait for about six months to a year and then you can unlock the device or you buy one that is used on ebay and you hope that they used it for six months to a year so that you are able to unlock the device. But even then, the device is very good to use. It has a button here in the back for speakerphone, and it does have a camera on the front as well as a little panel, a little LCD panel here that you're able to get quick notifications like if you have a message or you have a missed phone call or you have a voicemail or anything else. Again, the device is very good, very snappy, very fast, and it has a community that is supporting it. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, Again, Vo LTE, it works very, very well. And again, I'm really, really disappointed that it's not available for all the carriers out there. Maybe you have come up through a similar device or a place that sells these unlocks. So please let me know so I can put it in the links below. Battery life is also very good. It has been lasting for about a week and a little bit at this point. So I am not disappointed at all with this device. I thought that for $30, I was not gonna get my money's worth. But it's been, again, a very good experience so far with this device. Of course, you only have two carriers to choose in the beginning, but if you get it unlocked, that may be a different picture. Something that I do like is that it has a community of developers. Again, you need a code, a special code, pound, pound, something, something. I'll put it in the screen and I'll make sure to not forget this time around. I'll put it also in the comments and I'll put the developers in the community that they have behind it. Essentially, a lot of people have developed like certain apps that you're able to get on this device and more apps could come if developers target this specific niche. Essentially, there is a community behind it at appsforflip.com and it's not only for this device, but also for a couple of other flip phones that you're able to do it. And honestly, I really like their apps and their implementation. You have a launcher that you have to get to. You can get weather, you can get Uber, you can get Waze. So if you have those extra needs for just a couple of little things here and there, I think it's a very good package with the LG Classic Flip. For $30, you get a very good device, a very, very good experience with the device, and you're not gonna be frustrated at all. If all you need is phone calls, text messages, and you want an extra convenience to have a couple of directions with Waze and also Uber, then this may be the device for you. Again, it's $30, it's a bargain, but for now you can only use it on track phone and you can only use it on um, straight talk wireless. So you kind of have to pick in that sense, but again, these are not bad choices since they use the big carriers either way. So 
I wholeheartedly recommend the LG Classic Flip, a joy to use, it has a good community, and more apps could come if these developers decide to install these applications. You cannot just install any APK, you have to have a modified one because they allow you to use the cursor around it. I tried Uber and it works well. Uh, Waze is sometimes finicky here and there. It gets your location sometimes, it doesn't other times, but it works decently well that you're able to get some directions here and there. And of course, if that fails, you can always go to the browser, go to the maps on Google, and you're able to get your location pretty quickly, or at least get directions by walking or driving or turn by turn. You're also able to enable the voice commands, and those were very useful because it reminded me of the device that I just reviewed, the Lively Flip allows me to communicate with the device via voice commands. And again, it's a very good, easy to use device. So five out of five for this, for this device. Honestly, it's very good. I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys also enjoy it. If you guys decide to get it, make sure to hit the links below. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Don't forget to go to uh, josebriones.org slash dumb phones. If you're trying to find a dumb phone, I have their um, sortable list. You can go through carriers in the United States, international carriers, and different features that you may need for your device. So make sure to check it out, and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.